Love Dream On. Get on board on Starlight Starship. Welcome to Planet Yokoshima. This is a battery with an imagination. Enjoy. Coloring on a console alive. Serial art, calligraphy, logos, love letters, books, fashion, accessories. Things you've never seen before. Explore. <laughs> Almost 8 a.m. Yay. Fixed by sleep. I woke up to this post and it reminded me of uh, me quitting hospitality to hold high my crown of dignity. Thank you. Love yourself enough to remove yourself from spaces where you're not valued or appreciated. A coffee, pepperoni sandwich, and you. But they say that it's fighting. Oh, stop. That's on Sonny. It's a good day. Okay, so I just finished something uh, that I really wanted to finish for a while now, which is adding to my exhibitions on the, my website, miscellaneous exhibition. So it's basically a portfolio of my miscellaneous paintings. All of the paintings that don't really have a theme, so yeah, they're here. And uh, obviously I also changed the, or added the mobile, the page on the mobile version as well. So that took a while. And yeah, I woke up at 8 something, right now it's 11, so 8, 9, 10, 11, about 3 hours, not too bad. I've gotta go to do the, because it's nice and sunny, I wanna go and uh, to finish my errands. And um, yeah, I'll see how the day goes, but today Mency, Mency is going to be more than halfway, hopefully. I don't think I can finish it, let's see. I probably can finish it tomorrow, to be honest. Yeah. If I can push a little through, I might be able to do it, I'll see. Got myself ready to read a book on uh, public transport. Let's go do it, baby. This is me today. One day I'm going to wear things that are my style. I hate the fact that I'm stuck with things that are literally not my style. Like wearing a hoodie, like with these uh, hanging things. You get a logo even. Like a 13 year old who doesn't know how to express themselves. So not my style, baby. But one day, I'll have a yellow suit, something nice and colorful and bright, and that is me. Look at this dumb elevator. I look at it, just stuck on ground level. Bizarre. Okay, so good news is apparently I can apply for another payment, so my payment continues. Um, it's a long story, but uh, the bad news is I can't get a student loan because the course I'm studying is one year. And if I wanna get the student loan, it has to be over one year. I haven't paid the rent. I've still got the stupid university bill to pay. It's like 200 something. And I'm running out of food. And the elevator is not working, so I can't go busk. And I'm mentally all over the shop, I can't get any like side job whatever until then so if you can help pay my student bill can progress and move on i'm telling myself to start a gofundme just to get rid of my student the student bill thing so i can study so i can progress in life because the elevator is not working we'll just contact art galleries and see if they want to take artists but then again if i want to put my paintings or artworks around i have to pay and so as you see, it's very easy to think, why me? Because every time I go forward, I take steps back. Life forces me to take steps back, but that's fine. This is what this series is about, fixing my life somehow. But the elevator is shit, I'm paying the rent for nothing. At least this is a good thing. Um, when the landlord is like, hey, you gotta pay or whatever, I'm just telling them about the elevator and they get really fidgety when I'm mentioning that because they have nothing to do with it. But the thing is, they told me like, if I'm two months late on a rent, that's a problem. I'm not worried. Well, I am, but like, I mean, the only hope I have right now, if there's no income coming my way is, it also depends on when my mother gonna pay me if she remembers me, maybe things gonna get better. I know how much she's gonna be sending. If I'm lucky and I started studying as a student, I don't think so, but the bank would actually allow that I take a loan. But uh, I think that the bank told me I have to be able to pay on time 
the payments. Like if I'm struggling financially, probably they won't be giving me a loan anyway, even if I was a student. But I'll see how it goes. I'm stuck. And what's really, really, really upsetting, I, have a f I had a feeling last night when I was printing, sending these documents for busking that I was excited for, as soon as I sent them for printing, I had a feeling that I should have saved this money to help me like maybe eat at some point later when I'm struggling really. I can go right now to buy clay or whatever, but what's the point if nobody's buying? They're just watching and I can't go busk, right? I just want to stay, still believe in myself. So once I get to these prints, I'm going to take my files and go in like tattoo shops, art galleries, just in person, walk in and ask them to get, to take my artworks because I need help and I need to do this in person. Maybe the universe is hiding for me something even better. Maybe I don't have to busk. I still have time to pay the student bill. Ah, uh, my ears are whistling. If you can help, if somebody can help, just like, it can help. Okay. Okay. So I did call some uh, publication around, and somebody was very, very helpful. Apparently, I will need so much money, like two thousand per month, if I wanted somebody to look at my books and help me publish them and stuff. But there's another thing he told me about that. There's uh, something nearby called like Australian Society for Authors, and they do have events that's called like publication speed dating and. Um, publication consultancy so basically these two can help me like guide, guide me where I go and apparently the speed dating thing is me meeting publishers stuff like that so it's really 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 helpful but if I want to be a member I have to pay at least 160 per year to become a member so that's a good plan I know like I'm already struggling financially and I don't know where to go from here but something gonna work out eventually I know because even if I gotta become a student I had to make my credit report happy so I can get along because the elevator is just I can't with the elevator it's really distressing because I already printed everything ready to busk every time I'm ready to busk this happens so I like to think that the universe has something better for me up its sleeves so I'll see we'll see but things do get better I'm sure okay so this is another time that I say people like the universe gives me signs Oh my god. I was talking to one of you all about my ancestry to do with Imam Ali and stuff, um, like the, prof the Prophet and all. And in my feed, literally, there's one uh, Instagram account that I follow that always shows like random quotes from authors, like random authors from the whole world, usually just like English authors or Russian authors, Japanese. But as soon as I went to my feed after talking to that person, I saw a post, a quote, the same, I saw a post from that account, a quote from the Imam Ali, and it said this, I'm gonna read it to you. Half of your beauty comes from the way you speak. And literally, that's what I was thinking about when I was having a call previously, that was literally what I was thinking about, the way I speak, when I was speaking on the phone, over the phone to do with my, about something to do with my books, to know what to do from, from here. I was thinking like subconsciously about the way I was speaking because it's really played a role on my self-image, how I see myself. The universe is very... Oh, it's very easy to think I'm a special man because in other words, literally that's quote from Imam Ali, my greatest uncle. It's like literally my uncle talking to me. In case I was taking a shower and contemplating my life and I think what I've done is, is the best thing for me. So instead of <clears throat> planning to make 200 this week because I can't busk if the elevator is fucked uh, my next plan is I'll see if my mother my mother's money can help me with the 160 per year membership for the um, Australian Society of Authors so yeah 160 per year because they have things as I said like awesome events like the thing I said was the speed dating thing it's literally this one virtual literary speed dating so literally gives you so yeah, I've already, this registration already closed, but um, if I was a member, it's only $30 and literally three minutes meeting virtually and just literally tell the publisher about my works basically. So I'm very excited. But yeah, the thing is unpublished manuscript. So basically the book I have have to be unpublished. It's whatever you have, baby. 
Maybe some pasta with mozzarella, spring onion, pepper, and salted. And we got corn, chickpeas, green salad thing. See you all, the universe is sneaky, sneaky. Now I just found a, uh, there's a website called uh, Melbourne Zero. So it's basically like a, <clears throat> it's like a movement to hopefully make the homelessness rate like reach zero in Melbourne. <coughs> so they want stories of people who had gone through homelessness. So right now I just emailed them, shared my story. So I'll see how that goes. But man, like just see how crazy it is. Wow. Just thank you universe. Wow. Okay. So I was just working with another song that I've been waiting to show it to all. It's called cup of coffee and you. That's why every time I say cup of coffee, I say and you. Anyway, so uh, I'm done with the lyrics and I've come up with the beats and everything. I just need to record it then continue like fixing mixing i just finished the beats and stuff and i want to relax I'll chill also i added a new affirmation which goes finish what you started bish finish what you started me finish finish it go finish it now all done some more mincy yes all of this done so i've just got to finish these three probably before bed i can do that or oh, tomorrow it doesn't matter anymore and then uh, this is a, a, an, a chapter of my life afterwards. So this is when I was in a toxic share house. This is when they kicked me out and I became homeless again. But then I fixed my life here. So almost there. Almost there. Downloaded uh, Genshin Impact again, go me. Um, such a chill game. I'm so glad that I came back to it. Anyway, look what I cooked myself. The potato is nice and warm and healthy and very um, healthy. Yes, the warm. With some tuna peppered and like lemon. Would you say lemon? I'm not gonna put so much lemon. Mm, I don't know when to taste, so nope. Okay, so 1 a.m. I'm going to renew the tomorrow, the to do list and the chalkboard. And I'm going to say goodnight for tonight. But um, yeah, I was shaving, and with every shaving session, to me, it's like therapeutic. So I was basically, I'm always finding myself in a contemplation mode. And uh, for me, for some reason, I see my son, I'm shaving, and I look at the mirror, I see my future self. And I feel like my future self is just literally telling me, like, hey, I'm there just come and get me it's just a very positive way i'm this is my own way to stay positive and keep going and uh if it helps me that's good so anyway yeah i'm when i'm looking myself in the mirror and i'm just thinking this is my future self i can get there because the way the reason i see my future self in the mirror is because this self right now the present i'm ashamed of it like i'm um, i always feel embarrassed about how my life situation is, as I said before, I don't think you remember, I always attach my self-worth to how much money I make because my whole life I was raised poor and they went homeless. So my whole life is just suffering financially. So I attached my happiness to money, sadly, because that's the truth, like, <laughs> lived and learned. But I want to say, yeah, so I had a contemplation about the future and I feel so much more ready right now. Um, anyway, so tomorrow I'm going to collect prints and buskin prints because i'm just gonna push on like nothing is happening i know the elevator is fucked but if really things really really got out of hand i can just swallow it and just go busk because i had this sort of moment where i'm just like i've had enough and when i really really have enough and i, f I feel like i've just like literally have enough i go for it and i think that when i when this will happen i would go like if i really need to but for now my plan is I'm going to collect the prints and then I'm going to uh, sort the art files and then I'm going to take these files and go around search if somebody would be interested to take my art and everything because my plan right now is networking uh, finally this is like literally right now the first time I'm ready to network this is the first time I was calling around and I was telling people like hey I'm looking for somebody to talk to like in private confidentially I want to know somebody like I'm asking them like hey do you know somebody this is the first time where I'm just literally confident I know what I want. And uh, yeah, that's good. Like I'm trying just to be very, very proud of myself, of how much I am trying to overcome and achieve. So anyway, yeah, a step at a time, but um, I think that I know where I'm headed. Obviously I do know, I just have to do something about it to head there. And if I want to rush, it doesn't help. So I'll take my time and things gonna fix themselves 
like sort themselves out as I try to reach for my goal. It's always like that, always this way. And with every pose, something like necessary has to happen. It happens if that makes sense. The universe knows its work and it takes care of you. Excuse me when you're lost. But I'm proud of myself that I ate, that I ate healthily. I'm trying to push, I'm trying to stay healthy and all, but um, I'm very, very proud. Like I almost wanted to reach for chips, but I'm just like, nope. I actually boiled potatoes and I wanted to eat some like sweet biscuits I have and I'm just like nope I got uh, myself like these fiber high fiber um, like uh, like healthy biscuit snacks it's very delicious but yeah, I'm very proud of myself that I'm just literally staying positive staying healthy stay optimistic it was like the sun like a sunflower but anyway that's it for tonight as you can see it's a strange day, but uh, I've like have accomplished a lot. I went out there to like actually in person. It was very scary. Yes and no. Like I was scared. Like I don't know how to explain it. I hate dealing with the governmental stuff because I'm an immigrant and uh, I'm always stuttering. I'm always afraid that they won't help me. I'm always afraid that I will stumble between my words. And when I worry, I actually stumble. But the person was very very helpful. There were times he spoke like talked over me. But I know, I eventually, like, I learned from living this kind of experiences, I know when to show these people, like, hey, don't talk over me. But not in a, like, a very polite, without them even noticing. It's just, like, me, I know certain ways, like, body posture. Anyway, what I'm talking about was scary, and I'm proud of myself that I went and I talked and everything. And it was scary because, like, when I came back, I was just flabbergasted. Like, I'm not thankful that I'll be back to the payment and all. But I was, I guess, disappointed because I'm not able to get a student loan. So I'm worrying about how can I pay the bill for the university right now? 200 something. I'm thinking to like open a GoFundMe or something, but I'm really, really embarrassed about myself. I hate it. I don't want to lose subscribers like before, before going homeless, uh, before, yeah, 2018 or something. Anyway, if somebody can, like, send me 200 something, like, you can come to me in my Instagram and ask me for the bill. I literally have it, and I'll be very happy if somebody can pay the student uh, amenity bill thing so I can start studying and my life can progress. Yes, please, anybody, if anybody can help me pay this bill. Um... That would really, really, really be helpful. Just like a 200 something Australian dollars. But tomorrow is another day. I'm hoping that I'm gonna find my own way. The only way I can do it is bus. Can't bus because of the elevator right now. But I, I will do take my files, go around art galleries. This is the thing, I'm just worried like nothing will work out. So let's just shut up for now. Do what we can do. And things gonna sort themselves out. Um, uh, in the end, you will save your own self. We will see. To a better future, indeed. Yes, believe, believe. It's hard to believe. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. As always, I mean, like, bipolar, up and down. But I'll be fine. Another thing is, I really want to make uh, YouTube videos, other things that, that are not to do with the daily. But I've been busy on Mency and like the priorities because like literally I can make money with YouTube but I just when you see when I have no motivation and I'm worried about my priorities I forget about the other things that I feel like they're not priorities but they can help me with my priorities like if I actually make videos that can help me with the views I can actually it can help me with bright priorities can help me get the payment for the university and stuff because the pay in YouTube is very, very hard. It's not easy. And you all, as I told you, you should help me get the algorithm so people can discover me and it will help me to help me with the revenue. But I am. Uh, it's gonna work out. We're gonna make it, okay? Good night, bye bye. Sub, like, share, and hit the bell notification. Let us spread fun, love, creativity, and inspiration. Bye bye, baby.